I'm here with Dr. Ajmaj Zamar, and he's with UVL. And I was in a movie theater Saturday night, and I saw the current film After Death, and you popped up. <laughs> How did this happen? And tell me everything about your research that went into it, because I remember seeing a CBS report a year ago, which I think we even had on our air, about your research that you found uh, that even the BBC looked at. That's right, yeah. So uh, we totally, by accident, recorded the, for the first time ever, the activity of a dying human brain. Um, that was featured by almost 1,000 news outlets across the globe, including BBC News Global, CBS, and several others. Um, I was approached by the producers of the movie. They already had it almost done and complete and were in the final steps of it and included me to uh, report about our findings. And you were just, you went to the premiere last Tuesday, right, in Los Angeles? Yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. And you said that it's in how many theaters? Over 2,000, right? Over 2,600 theaters across the United States, which is number four uh, highest in history of documentaries. Right, number one is Michael Jackson's This Is It, right That's after right. his death, and then Jackass a movies. Other films, Jackass movies. That's right. After. That's amazing. So, the actual events of the flatline happened in 2016, right? Um, yes, the Vancouver, British Columbia, yeah. And that's when the very first time we were able to see what happens to the human brain when it passes. That's right. Now, is there still brain activity that happens after, or does it quit soon after? What is it? Can you kind of give us a blueprint? Right. The, the surprising finding we had was that if somebody were to show you and me memorable events of our life, a certain pattern of brain waves go up in our head called gamma oscillations. We believe those are responsible for memory recall. When you die, there's always these reports about memory flashback, memory recall, but nobody ever had any, hist any, any evidence scientifically that would show this. In our patient, 30 seconds before the patient passes away and the heart stops beating, these gamma oscillations, these brain waves that are responsible for memory recall, go up. Which is astonishing and make us think that perhaps that is what's going on in your brain at the time of death. You have a recall of memorable events of your life. You literally have clinical evidence that show that indeed your life flashes before your eyes, in other words. We have to be a bit cautious. We would like to think that we do. We have a case of one, which always in science is very, very shaky to make big conclusions about. But one is better than none, and that's what the case shows. Now, meanwhile, there's a group from Michigan who repeated these findings in two other cases. Really? Now, that is not featured in the documentary. That's uh, very interesting, too. Yeah. So two other, piece, two other places. Have you talked, spoken to those doctors? We work together. I have great respect for those um, scientists and physicians who were involved in that work. They have done a lot in this field. They were actually the first who um, recorded these brain waves in a rat. Uh, when the rat had cardiac arrest, after cardiac arrest, these waves were going on in the rat. So that was a seminal study that is now being repeated in humans, which make us think this is a type of response at death that is potentially conserved across evolution, across different species, which makes it even stronger. Right, the same brain activity happens no matter what species it, it is. Now you were telling me that on BBC, when they featured you, you said how many, how many people have seen it on BBC? I was told by BBC 127 million globally. Now if you see the film and also the BBC clip, which you said was on uh, Google, just Google search his name and search YouTube. BBC, yeah. and you'll be able to see his office setup, and it's the same setup you see in the film, After Death. You actually see the UVA logo in the background, and it's your office, right? That's right, so I was amazed that you picked this up. <laughs> Nobody else, to whoever I've talked about this, has picked up on this point. Saturday night, I was in the AMC Theater in Stony Brook, and I literally was like, UVA, whoop, whoop. <laughs> I was very proud of our city. So this is great that you are doing such great um, internationally interesting research and it's all because well you did the it happened before you were at UVL but it's now that you've come out with the study that was while you're at UVL so that's correct it's great that 
you're doing such great things for. And we're hoping people. that we can continue it here at Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for uh, this interview. And uh, thank you very much. Good luck in all your future thank you. studies. We appreciate it coming to visit here. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.